my dear wife. Let me tell you about Slovenia. I know you have been wondering why I've been acting so strange ever since I came back. So here's what happened. You know how excited I was before leaving, as Slovenia offers some of the most beautiful rivers, mountains and canyons, as well as superb fishing for rainbows and marble trout. Just before the trip I found out that Lucas and Matt had caught countless marbles before, so I figured that it couldn't be that difficult. I was very mistaken. Everything started off perfectly. Perfect weather and breathtaking scenery promised a great day and Lucas and I took turns to side fish for fish that Matt was spotting for us. There might be one sitting just behind the rock. There you go, let it, let it drift through. Move it, move it to the outside of that rock. That's a stick. Because the only time he's going to take is when he's on the rise and on the move. Okay, see him? No, like right there. Him Just roll it to him. Roll it right in front of him, nice and soft. Got a coffee again. Boom. Hello. Oh my god. On the second day we went to another spot and it was clear that the guys wanted to help me get into a marble from the beginning. So when we were planning this trip, Marcus was all the time was talking about catching a marble trout and uh, the kind of dreams about marble all the time. He's like getting nervous and said, oh, let's catch a marble trout and so I hope he will get a good one. It's a long way to morning for coffee hits my lips. It's a long way to morning. I can yeah. taste better sweetness. It's a smoke at Sunday trip. And I've got the nervous ticks. It's a long way to morning. After we had fished our way up the valley catching rainbows left and right, we got to a narrow gorge where we spotted two marbles feeding in a small pool and it was clear that I would get another shot. We came up here in the canyon, it's 30 minutes ago and we found a spot with, correct me please, but I think two nice marbles. And I walked all the way around, fished it, didn't really believe. It took my big dry fly. I had it on for a couple of seconds in a soft spot and then she took off and 
She broke my heart and my soul. I don't know. It's pretty tough to find the right words now. While at first, finding a marble was the problem, now landing one became impossible for me. It seemed that the harder I tried to catch one, the more difficult it became and slowly but surely I began to lose confidence. So, we've got day four now. We are on the water with Matt again. I like to see a little more desperate action in your retrieve. Wiggle. Perfect, perfect. I'm the only guy who's not got a marble so far. And honestly, as a guide it's quite embarrassing to not have caught one. Marcus ain't doing well. Kind of concerned. But we did what we had to do, so we brought him to Trebuchica. And in Trebuchica, we got about 20 marbles in one spot. I'm hoping if he can get this done, maybe we can move on. But hope saying hi, hope saying hi. Oh yeah, he's huge. Dude, he's a nice fish. He's right above that. He went onto the black right where your fly landed. That's way no, too short. Way too short. I did not see that fish, but hey, go again. Super nice because everyone tells me 10 times, oh, it's a marvelous marble, beautiful marble. Just have fun catching him. I mean, I have feelings, yeah. I'm a father of two kids, you know. I hope you put food on the table better than you hook marbles. The poor kids are gonna starve. It has been my dream to catch one of those native mamoradas for a long time. To make things worse, over time I started to get the feeling that the guys were talking behind my back. So, you have any suggestions what we can do with Marcus? Do you mean marvelous Marcus? Exactly that. There's no cures for such a thing. It doesn't fix itself. It just gets worse. Yeah, but you know, I mean, he wants that marble, and I think we should totally fix. Let it me that tell you something, way. son. Right. There's a lot of things I want, too, but I ain't gonna get them. Yeah, but, you know, he's really getting serious with that. You know, I'm worried about him. I've seen it happen. They get this thing in their head. It's like an idea. It's inception. And once that idea of no marbles lingers in your head, you end up doing what he's doing snapping fish off like Indiana Jones. The idea's been planted, and the idea will never be removed. And I really think he'll be marvelous, excuse me, marvelous, Marcus for the rest of his life. The worst thing was I couldn't blame them. They were completely right. As an experienced fisherman, 
I should be able to spot, hook and land marbles easily. I have been lying to myself for years, living a life I have no right to live. It's so obvious now and I'm really sorry I have dragged you into it. I cannot take it anymore. There's only one thing left for me to do before people find out about what happened in Slovenia. There's no other way. There's no other way. Marcus. Some whiskey and then I'm gonna buy 